Hello everyone, welcome to Dental Mate. Today in this video, we'll be seeing what is rapid antigen test, how to infer the results of the rapid antigen test. So stay tuned, let's get started. So, rapid antigen test is basically an initial screening test. Now, this is based on rapid chromatographic immunoassay for the virus antigen detection. This is the kit of the rapid test. The kit has to be stored at 2 to 30 degrees Celsius. And remember, we don't have to freeze it. The results are to be read in 15 to 30 minutes. So basically we have we need to add three drops of the sample which could be a nasopharyngeal swab or the oropharyngeal swab. Three drops of sample are to be added into the well and we see the control which is the C and the test that is T after 15 to 30 minutes. Now, how do we infer to the rapid antigen test? See, first of all, we need to match it with the control. Okay. Control has to be darkened. See, if there is a dark control line and a dark test line. Okay. Can we see here? The control line is dark and the test line is also dark. So, this is a positive case. If the control line is dark but the test line is faint, then also this patient is considered as COVID positive. Okay. Next, if the control line is dark but the test line is absent, then this patient is considered COVID negative. Also, if the control line is absent and the test line is dark, then this kit would be regarded invalid. If the control line is absent and test line is faint, then also this kit is regarded invalid. So what we need to remember is that the control line first of all has to be darkened. After that only we can infer the patient as positive or negative. If the control line is absent or faint, then the kit has to be regarded as invalid. Now, how do we need to proceed after the rapid antigen test? So, what is suggested that if the rapid antigen test is negative and the patient suspects himself to be a COVID positive patient, if he has any signs or symptoms, then RT-PCR has to be carried out for confirmation. If the patient is positive in rapid test, then the RT-PCR confirmation is not required and immediately the medications of the patient should be carried out with proper isolation. This is it about the rapid antigen test. In the next video, we'll be talking about the RT-PCR test. That is the gold standard for the diagnosis of COVID-19 disease. Also, we'll be discussing TrueNAT and CBNAT. So stay tuned. Keep visiting. Thank you.